Hey, this is Dave Gleason, head coach at Athletic Revolution in Pembroke, Massachusetts, and I just wanted to talk to you briefly about how to possibly add variety to the workouts for your six to nine year old groups. Uh, this can be a very tricky group, as you know. You have to try to keep it fun, and our role really for that age group or our job is to try to make it not only as fun as possible, but to give them as broad of a base and a foundation as possible so that they can do whatever they want to do as they get older. Um, but how do we do that without being or looking like we're completely randomized? Uh, the first thing I want to go over very quickly is just think about some basic movements and all the variety you can put into a basic movement. For instance, if we think about triple extension at the hip, knee, and ankle, you know, to us we call that a squat. But we can also do a forward lunge, a back lunge, a lateral lunge. We could go forward to back. We could do pivoting movements. Um, keep in mind as well, a young child is not going to care whether or not they're doing a forward, backward, lateral lunge, back lunge with rotation, whatever it is. We call our lunging movements, if you will, different names like monster walks. When we squat, we call it levels. We play the levels game. So we'll do top, middle, and bottom. If we call out one of those words um, in a verbal sense, they know they have to either go athletic stance, maybe a quarter squat, half squat, and then a full squat. And we have them hold each one. We want them to get used to what it feels like to be in each one of those positions. Okay, that's just one example of how you can add variety. And then how you can spice it up by calling it a fun name. And always think about doing things either with timing or reaction so it remains fun. Now, how do we stay away from it looking or, or seeming so randomized? Which, in essence, is actually okay to an extent because, again, think about the age group we're talking about, six to nine year olds. We need to build that broad base, but yeah, we're still thinking of, well, how do we help them groove patterns that are a little bit more correct? How do we get enough repetition in with one specific movement so they're grooving a pattern correctly and neurologically it kind of sticks. But what we do is we categorize our workouts here. So this is just an example of how you can do this. Make sure you get some elements of activity in for each one of these categories, like just body awareness. So it could be things like log rolls, forward rolls, lunge walking, we call them monster walks, uh, bear crawls. Make, get them moving um, spatially as well. It could be tag, it could be dodgeball active kind of range of, of motion and movement exploration, think of all the different things that you could do and, and put them into that category. Object manipulation. Get them moving anything from a cone to a battle rope to a medicine ball to a sand bell to their own bodies. Um, you know, you try to use some external implements as well. Balls and whether it's tennis balls, dodge balls, heavier balls, whatever, it's great, it's great stuff for them to use. So object manipulation, coordination enhance enhancement, all the different areas we talk about there, whether it's balance, rhythm, reactivity, kinesthetic differentiation, spatial awareness, find some activities that will play into at least one of those areas of coordination. Sometimes you'll have a lot of crossover and that's great. And then the last one is gameplay. And then you can again, you can think of you know, whether it's triple extension, whether it's systemic strength, whatever you want to do, put it in a game-like context. Now, once you have that set, that will, will almost guarantee that it's not random in terms of you just picking things out of the air. If you pick a couple, maybe three activities for each one of those categories, you're golden. You're gonna make sure that your kids, the kids in your program, are hitting all those elements of fitness. You can't go wrong, either can they. They're gonna have a ton of fun, and you're gonna have a killer program. So I hope this helps you out. This is Dave Gleason signing off for now, and we'll be back real soon. Thanks so much.